actually heading up to work today it is July 27th and I'm not going in for work per se but I am going to meet a group of ladies there and we're going to discuss some things that we want to kind of incorporate this year I don't know what's going on with this light the sun over the summer I think I briefly mentioned that I was at work like I had a conference to go to and that was a leadership type of conference. I attended that with my principal, and then I think it was six other teachers. We met a little bit over the summer to discuss some of our plans for the upcoming year, and so I'm going to meet with those ladies in a little bit to discuss, like finalize what we're planning to do this school year. In addition, I also have to meet with my principal for something else, and I might share it with y'all later, but right now I don't really want to get into that. I just got my coffee from my usual place. Either I go to Starbucks or I go to Stripes, and I must say that I am not pleased with the coffee this morning. It does have a good taste, but it's lukewarm. I'm used to getting it first thing in the morning, like 6, 7 o'clock, where they're constantly making pots of coffee, so... I'm sure if I would have told them they could have made some new coffee, but I don't have time. I'm running late, so I just have to take that in. Pretty much that's how I drink my coffee anyway, because I don't ever have time to really drink it. But I do like that initial first sip to just be like hyping hot where it pretty much burns my tongue and then I really can't taste the rest of it. Anyway, I'm a little nervous. I have to meet with my principal this morning and just discuss some things with her and it's not even like a bad discussion or anything like that but I'm just really nervous and I felt like I had to go to Starbucks because like that solidifies the fact that like it's back to school time. Today I might sneak into my classroom a little bit. I did bring my contact paper that I showed y'all in my teacher haul video and my plan if I can sneak in because I'm not really supposed to be in there but if I can sneak in I'm going to see if I can oh goodness I don't know what that is there's a bug get out ah! okay I think it went on my floor it didn't go out the window I don't know where it's at it's gonna get me this is just supposed to be a meeting and I'm not supposed to really go into my classroom until Monday at the earliest and Monday at the earliest, but since I'm here, I'm just going to see what I can do while I'm here and give y'all like a first look. I do not teach at a school that has a lot of closed classrooms, like where we have a door. I have been in two rooms before and those two rooms were closed and I love them. I could just close my door when I wanted to and we could get as loud as we wanted to without disturbing others around us. But, and I zoomed in really close because I feel like the, it looks really dark if I'm not zoomed in. Okay, that bug is right there again. Oh, sorry, y'all. This video is all over the place. I had two classrooms that were closed where I had a door and I could close off the rest of the school. But last year and then this coming year, I am not having a closed room. So last year was my first experience with being in the open concept and I really liked it I like that I could bounce ideas off with um, the neighboring teacher and my classroom is pretty small so if you are interested in seeing how I make over and do all the things that I need to do and get that put inside of my very small open concept classroom then you will be interested in seeing my classroom set up and there's this bug that will not get out of my car and my fear okay I don't like killing bugs. It just doesn't want to get out. Yeah. Okay, it's gone. So I am heading into my room. Let me turn on some lights here. So here it is. Just going to let y'all see how I left it. Um, I do have a Promethean board here and a bookshelf that I 
got from my other classroom. I also have this situation that I found in the hallway, like all of this stuff was in the hallway. And I have an extra bookcase like this that I've been using for the last few years. And so I was really excited when I saw that someone did not want this because I'm going to put both of them together and create a larger bookshelf. I have this that I got at a garage sale. I didn't use it that much last year, but I know I have something to, I have plans for it this year. So there's my file cabinet. My cabinets, these are stable, but I can move the file cabinet if I want to. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it there or if I'm going to move it over here or somewhere else. So I will decide what I want to do with it. Here's my room. Like I said, it's not very big, but you know, it's cool. And these desks are second grade desks. They're so tiny. And the tables are also pretty low for second grade. This is going to be my desk over here. I do still have my little dry erase board that I took. I like to put like morning messages and things on here. There's my, I always take this little thingy, whatever it's called, I have one of those, but this is going to be my desk here. I'm so excited. So I zip tied all my stuff in there, so I'll have to take that off. But there we go, here's my room. So I'm waiting for the rest of the group to get here. I just saw like one other person who's here, but I think there's going to be about 10 to 15 of us this morning. And if I can sneak in before anyone's gotten in there, I'm going to show you how my principal made the room so cute. She's all about cutesy things. And so we have a new conference room and she decorated it and has like a gift for each of us. I'm planning to have this as my teacher desk and it's a little dirty so I don't have my Clorox wipes with me right now but I'm going to just take some soapy paper towels, clean it off and then I can add my contact paper. I just used my library card to smooth it out, but as I was doing that, I noticed that there are a couple of imperfections on this piece. So I'm going to take it off and use this for like the shorter pieces along the edge because it's going to bother me the entire year. I have these two sheets of paper that I kind of messed up on and it's really hard to stick again like it sticks again but it's hard to get it in the right spot once you take off the back paper so i feel like i'm going to use those two over here but i'm just going to go ahead and open up another roll and start again on this spot so at first i had it in the center then i realized i would have to make too many cuts so i started on the edge and then i'll just line them up down the table i went ahead and started to cover my desk I came into a couple of little issues, small issues with doing that, so I didn't have enough time to complete the table. But I will, or my desk, but I'll be back in there on Tuesday, I think. It was really exciting to be back in my room and to kind of like map out things that I had in my head. So I'm glad I was able to come today because I have a better understanding of what it's going to be like when I do go into my room on Tuesday. I am going to join my family. They are at Cheddar's. If y'all know us, y'all know that that is where my husband loves to go. 
So MJ and my husband are at Cheddar's and I am heading there to meet them. And so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.